Hello my dear students myself Sheikh Gulnaz now I am here with the topic of meaning and types of economic for the student of 8th standard and it is a social science subject students in the last previous classes i have explained you about economic isn't it introduction of economics what is the meaning of economics i have explained you now let us see the meaning and types of economic so in this chapter students you learn the meaning and types of economics the different economic system and identify their merits and demerits students here merits and demerits it is uh, nothing but advantages and disadvantages so the features of indian economic structure the evolutions evolutions of the perf performance of public sector in india so now let us start with this chapter introduction what is the meaning of economics students economy refers to the nature of organizations of economic activities in a society economy it is nothing but it refers to the nature organizations okay set of or a group of organized organization of economic system in a society the economy it is nothing but students in other terms dealing with money okay so as you have learned the given the scarcity of resources scarcity of sources you have learned in the last previous class my i was explaining you about economics economic activities are undertaken to earn money for buying goods and services to satisfy one want student scarcity it is nothing but you have less uh, for example the products we want to purchase but we don't have that much money uh, that is nothing but scarcity of money if the, you want that product but that product don't uh, not have that much uh, which uh, we can say quantity so that is nothing but scarcity of resources isn't it so here the economic activities are undertaken to earn money for buying goods and services to satisfy wants wants here economy it takes place in every society if we are running a country made students here selling and buying is a process isn't it we are the consumers or uh, they are the producers but uh, sometimes it will change the process of giving and taking money at that is comes under economic we can say in easy language so depending upon the nature and level of economic system pursued in an economy the income of the people engage in those activities differ depending upon the nature and level economic students here in our country we can see many of the people have their different kinds of professions isn't it we can you see the same kinds of profession we are doing thought we are main occupation of our indians are of agriculture but then also if we compare all we indians are doing the same business no we have an other other professions different professions we can say isn't it so uh, depending upon that uh, professions we will get the income so they have the much value and they have some uh, that much only like that it depends upon that so now your students some activities like software department yield have high and fast growing income while others like agriculture yield low and slow growing income if we compare with the technologies if a person is doing a business of machineries and all if we compare with that person in software field and comparing with agriculture field person so what happened students we can see the person who is doing a software here have a high growing income isn't it so this is nothing but different so this those countries grow faster or slow depending on their mix of mix mixing of activities so in our country we have different kinds of professions different kind of works people do so depending upon that mixture will be there so they have the country has to handle all that things the economics with fast growing activities will achieve development faster while others lag behind and may remains as under develop or developing economic students the economics the persons those who are gaining more and fast money that going activities will have it will achieve development faster than other which which led behind like agriculture like that they will be developing or under developed activities isn't it so here they all they are also known as the rich or poor economics here also in terms of businesses or also in terms of activities of profession also it will compare to that we can say students that will be also a uh, rich that uh, can be also known as rich and poor economics if a person is doing a teaching field for example i am giving you the teacher will gain money 
if we compare with other doctors the doctors will get more money if we compare with teacher isn't it because here we can see the doctor will uh, gain money daily okay so here the teachers will teachers they will get money economy by monthly isn't it so this is the difference we can compare this as rich and poor economics economics are also classified based on ownership of the resources we if we can see the ownership if the per, uh, that the resources which the person is producing that have a high level of demand isn't it so the but the quantity is less so that will shows the high demand that the uh, that product will cost more so this is nothing but students ownership of collecting uh, resources economics are also classified on the basis of administrative division thus you come across village economic district economy state karnataka economy and national indian economics which may be led different levels of development students we can see in village level we have different kinds of economics in state level in city level in towns level in national level we have different different if we can compare with that we can see so here therefore there are different ways to look to economy and its level of development so here in this chapter you will learn about the types of economics and the nature of indian economy what is the nature of our indian economy that is the main point you are going to learn in this chapter so now let us start meaning an economic may be described as a man made organization for the satisfaction of human wants economy it is a described as a man made organization for their satisfaction of human wants isn't it economic for the uh, students for satisfying about wants basic needs we want isn't it basic needs what we have that is clothes shelter and education nowadays education is also very important food these are the basic necessities we need for living in a society and for living our life so student these for for satisfying this our wants for food we need money so this man made organization it is nothing but economy so aj brown defines economy as a system by which people get a living nowadays students we can see the important thing that is we have that in our presently if a person is having money means he is rich he can do anything if you compare the rich person with educated person you can see the differences tho education they have a person but money if the if the person does not have money then he does not have any value so nowadays in our society students money is everything isn't it so here uh, aj brown economist defines that economy is a system by which people get their living so you might have been observed that man is engaged in varied ways to earn a living it is also different from place to place from time to time in the primitive days is uh, days earning to living was simple but was growth of civilization it has become much more complex students here we can see people for living for satisfying their wants they will do many other works for you can see your parents will do other work or your friends parents will do other works why why they used to do works because to satisfy their wants isn't it so you can see they have a different the persons will working in different different places and different different professions also they have and timing will be also change some will do night duty some will do more uh, evening night duty like that they the timing is also different so the in primitive days earning a living was simple but with growth of civilization it had become much more complex before students in primitive days in olden days what it was earning and living was simple people used to earn money and they used to spend in the, the, themselves and all but nowadays you can see the technology is growing up now people have competition in between so now your days it has been a, uh, it has been become complex for earning money you can see now educated people are also unemployed because of what because of money so here more than that you have must uh, note that the person must earn the living by fair and legal manner more than that you must uh, note that the person must earn the living by fair and legal manner not by corruption and all if the person is by loyalty by loyalty loyalty he is earning money that we have to note it isn't it so unfair and illegal means such as robbery smuggling may earn income for oneself but it's socially harmful 
hence not considered as gainful economic activity students here if the person is uh, uh, if illegal illegal or unfair economy we can say means the person those who are doing smuggling robbery this this will involve in criminal cases so it is satisfying one small so it is satisfying only a single man by selfishness he is doing that but what happened it will harms to others that person will not think of others so here students economic system is that a person who is taking purchasing the things that person should also satisfy their wants and the producer should also satisfy your wants for example students you are going to a shop you are purchasing a single pencil the person you are giving them money and you are taking that pencil that shows the economic system taking and giving the both should have the profit isn't it so that is nothing but that we can say it comes under economic activity if a person is uh, robbing and smuggling that it comes under illegal crimin crimes we can say so we can therefore describe this economy as a framework of economic institution where all income economic activities are carried out to improve individual and social welfare it is also referred to as an economic system describe those an economy has the following features according to the students what happened here framework the economic institutions has a framework where all economic activities are carried out to improve individual students here for example um, school management will look after all the individual persons isn't it for all the individual if a person that uh, if a student of this class is not uh, good in studies so he have the management will give ideas to how to the develop that person how to take it take him up this all is nothing but we can still students we are the economic here is also have a framework so next we have that is then describe those by these uh, the, an economy has the following features what are the features of economy students here economy consists of individuals economy institutions and government and their interactions here students the features of economy is economy consist of individuals economic institution and government and their interactions it deals with the consist it deals with individual also economic institutions also and the government and their interactions also here students the government is for, for example we are paying taxes to government isn't it so they, they we should interact with each other consumer producer and all this interaction which are taking place that is nothing but economic activity so economic is a dynamic change economics is a dynamic entity which is continuously changing the economic institutions are continuously created destroyed replaced or changed for example planning commission was set up to plan for socio economic development of india in 1950 but it was replaced by niti ayog in 2015 similarly communism was adopted by russians in 1917 but was replaced by capitalism in 1989 earlier barter system say was was followed by today money plays as a vital role in economic transactions so students here we can say economic is a dynamic dynamic is it is nothing but changing entity which is continuously changing economic institutions are continuously created destroyed replaced or changed by the students for framing that uh, economic uh, system the government will create it also destroy also replace or so change also for example planning commission was set up to set up to plan for social economic development of india in 1950 but it was replaced by the other name that is niti ayog in 2015 so similarly communism was adopted by the russians in 1917 but was replaced by capitalism in 1989 so earlier barter system was followed by today money plays a vital role in economic economic transaction so next we have that is production and consumption and investments are the crucial activities of an economy students here the main thing here is production consumption and investment are the crucial activities of an economy these are the three main things that comes under economic activities so students here production also consumption consuming and investment are also comes under economic activities it is also the feature of economy depending on the type of economy economic activities keep on changing depending on the type of economic the economic activities keeps on changing thus 
In developing economy, low income yielding primary resource based activities are predominant, while in developed countries, high income yielding secondary manufacturing, the tertiary service based activities are predominant. So, here, students, similarly, the technology of the production is also different. Students, if we can see, the economic system is different if we compare with the small to with high. If the, uh, we can see here students if we are earning less money means the economy system of that means it will be different if we compare with the economy we are uh, gaining more uh, money from other businesses means that economic system is different okay so here individuals are both producers and consumers as produ uh, producers they produce goods and services and as consumers they consume the same here students individuals are both producers and consumers we can see if we are to uh, you are going to shop you are purchasing pencil eraser everything whatever you want to satisfy your wants you are purchasing but here the producer is also individual and the consumer is also individual isn't it so here as a producer they produce goods and services and the consumers they have to consume the same however we all are the consumers but only few of us are producers isn't it so next modern economic system is complex and there are many institutions to regulate the activities of the individuals. Here yeah? modern economic system is complex. We can say different and there are many institutions to regulate the activities of the individual. Thus we have the institutions like the RBI, SE, SBI, World Bank, IMF, WTO, SARC, ADB etc. These are the governed activities of individual as well as countries so these are the main producers we can say isn't it so you can see what is this rbi what is a expand rbi reserve bank of india scbi securities and exchange board of india emf international monetary fund wto world trade organizations south south asian associations for regional cooperations adb asian development bank so these are the main producers those who produce to the businessmen and entrepreneurs by this they produce uh, they introduce things they used to produce when they used to transport the things and after transporting it will comes to the businessman and all and the businessman to kiran shop kiran shop they used to send to the consumers so next capitalist socialist and mixed economics what is this capitalist socialist and mixed economy let us see here Economic system are classified into capitalism, socialism and mixed economics are based on ownership of means of production and extent of government interventions and regulations of economic activities. Let us understand the meaning features, merits and demerits of this economic system. Here students, economic systems are classified into capitalist, capitalism, socialism, mixed economics based on ownership of means production. An extent of government intervention and regulations of economic activities on basis of the regulations and also in the basis of productions they have been classified. Okay, so now let us see about this these types of economics and what are the features of that economics and advantages and disadvantages. First, we have that is capitalist economic system. In a capitalist system, the means of productions are owned by the individual and are free to use them in any way that benefits them. Hence, it is also called a free enterprise economy. Here, the government intervention in the economic activities is minimal. That means in less minimum. So, the important features of capital ex uh, economy are as follows. Private property is there. Freedom of enterprise. Consumer sovereignty. Profit motive. So, here students, now let us see that in capitalist economic system students this is a main productions that is owned by the individual so he can uh, give any price for the any products which will benefit to him okay so now let us see the features private property is there an individual is free to own acquire and beneath uh, bequeath property property according to his or her wish since the property is used for one's own benefit the incentive to acquire and accumulate wealth is very strong students he can if a single businessman doing a private business means he can earn money by according to his will he can isn't it so next private property next we have freedom of enterprise it is a capital uh, capitalist economy the individuals are free to choose any occupation they have a freedom of 
choosing any occupations okay so business firms are free to acquire resources and use them in productions of any goods and services and are free to sell their products in the markets of their choice for earning the highest possible profit if uh, we are living in a uh, india so students if we have any rights to do any type of business and to share their ideas and all so they have in this uh, in capitalist economic system freedom of enterprise is there so consumer sovereignty next feature of capitalist economic system is students consumer sovereignty it is said that the consumer is a king in capitalist economy they are free to spend their income on goods and services which give them the maximum satisfaction in a capitalist system production is guided by the consumer's choices so students here if a person is doing a private a private business we can say kiran shop and all so he have any rights to choose uh, which uh, product uh, have highest uh, demand and all he can take that product and he can send sell so next we have प्राइवेट मोटिव सो स्टूडेंट्स ये प्रॉफिट मोटिव इज सिंस एक्विजेशन एंड एक्यूमिलेशन ऑफ वेल्थ इज नॉट रेस्ट्रिक्टेड इन अ कैपिटलिस्ट सिस्टम इंडिविजुअल्स आर गाइडेड बाई देर सेल्फ इंटरेस्ट स्पेशली द प्रोड्यूसर्स नोन एज द कैपिटलिस्ट क्लास आर मोटिवेटेड टू मैगजिमाइज मैगजिमाइज द प्रॉफिट बाई मिनिमाइजिंग कॉस्ट एंड मैगजिमाइजिंग रेवेन्यू सो स्टूडेंट्स इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन दैम दे वॉन्टेड टू राइज और द प्राइजेस एंड ऑल because they are doing their own business na so they can take uh, for which thing they are getting by which thing he, they are getting satisfied with by which they are getting profit they can do anything if he is doing a individual and private business means how he will get a profit only okay so next they have that is competition and market in prices so competition will be there in the market if a person those i have uh, two kiran shops okay so now let us see since everybody is free to pursue occupations of their choice for earning profits there is an intense competition in capitalist system so the market forces of demand and supply free operate to determine the price so students here the market forces of demand and supply freely operate they can if the uh, the product will cost of 5 rupees they can give of 6 rupees by including by taking their own interest for their own profit they can we can't go and case to the government that they are uh, say, selling in, in this quantity product of more than that product need to we have to pay like the students we can't case them na for uh, for kiran shop we, they are giving product of 15 rupees product to of to 16 or 17 so we can't object them isn't it so because of they are doing their pro- private business so they for their transportation and and all for them they need the money So next we have that is the absence of government interference. In this private business, students government interference will be not there, isn't it? So they can choose what do uh, whatever product they want, they can sell and all. So here student government interference in the operation of government determination of prices and divisions by economic agents of their absent or kept to minimum in a capitalist system. However, pure capitalism is not seen in the world in today's world as the government has assumed an active role in economic devel- development. So, promoting welfare and people and regulating economic activities of business firms, USA and many countries of Europe are more capitalist in nature. So, students here we, by this we can say, if we compare with Indians, we don't have that much private businesses and all. So here we can see the other countries like USA and many other countries, Europe. they have a more and more capitalist in nature individual business and in private business they have we can see so this is all the features of capitalist government and students nothing more to go deeply just we have to remember the point that in capitalist uh, economic system students features are private property freedom of enterprise consumer sovereignty profit motive will be the competition and market and prices and absence of government interference so next we have that is socialist economic so this will be continued in the next class students if you have any doubt any questions relating to this topic you can ask me so thank you for watching my video students